Hi guys, this is the um, Halloween craft video. I thought we'd make some little pumpkins. These are just ceramic pumpkins. This is one that I painted earlier that um, I made yesterday. Um, this is one I'm going to paint with you guys. Um, it's just air dry clay and if you wanted to paint the skulls as well, it's just these. You just need any kind of skull basically. But if you get these ones from Morrison's in the UK, I think it was like a net of skulls, I think it was called. How random. Um, but they do have some sharp bits on and some sharp bits at the top. I filed mine down with a nail file because I couldn't find any sandpaper. We bought some the other day, but of course in this house it's disappeared. So I just filed down the tops, filed the bottom bit there and... Um, then I painted them. Uh, this one is just black because I'm going to do a sugar skull design on this one. And this one has um, this colour underneath and painted over with black. I've just um, scraped a little bit in the eyes just to see if it was working okay or if I needed another layer or two or something. Um, I only used a skewer, like a cocktail stick thing and just drew a circle in each eye socket so um, yeah we're gonna do that to look something like this so um, these are just like the simplest things even if you don't know how to do anything arty or crafty I'm sure that you can manage to make a little pumpkin at least they're so easy to make I'm just gonna show you how because it's just the easiest thing all I'm using is this air dry clay you can get it in white or terracotta um, this was from The Works, I think. You can get it from The Works, Hobbycraft, anywhere like that. Um, you can order it online. And all I did was... Um, um, if I can show you... like I cut along probably about this much. Uh, and then just halved that. So, if I do the smaller one, uh, and then just tear it off and uh, make sure you cover this back up and don't get out more than you need at the um, time you're using it because it goes dry really quickly. That's what happened to that pumpkin, that's why it looks a bit scabby. Um, because this one, I, I um, sculpted this one all at the same time and it's kind of gone smooth. This one has got some like cracked bits where I left it out a little bit and then it kind of went a bit scabby. So all you do is take a little bit off to make the top bit. You only need the tiniest bit so even like it's about that much, just a tiny tiny bit and then just squish it together and make it round. It's the easiest thing, anybody can do this. Oh it's got some hard bits in, where have they come from? Managed to get some like dried bits in. Okay, so just make it a rough little pumpkin shape. See, it's getting there already. It's just like a little squidge. Um, you can make this into two little tiny ones if you want. I'm just going to quickly show you how we did the bigger one, um, just in case you want to do the bigger one not hard at all anybody can do it honestly even if you don't know how to do any kind of arts or crafts we're going to use that scabby bit as the bottom bit because the tops are nice a bit and you need kind of a flattish bottom so when you plunk it down it'll just kind of go flat enough anyway so all you need to do is get something you could use this I use this sculpting tool um, but obviously you can use anything just make a little um, kind of indent in the top and um, just make some little markings around the top to kind of do the, what would they be called? Um, you know these ridges, kind of the ridges down it, these kind of bits. So um, we're just going to poke at that little bit in the middle. Then make your tiny, tiny little um, bit of the stem. Just 
roll a tiny bit, even less than that, you don't need all that. So the tiniest little bit just to make a tiny little stem, unless you wanted to make it more elaborate where you could do a long one where you could curl it round and maybe put some leaves on, but you don't need to do anything elaborate. The simpler you want to make it, great. The more elaborate you want to make it, great. Just whatever you want to do. And then just squidge it in. And then all we're going to do is um, we're going to bring down the edges so it smooths into the um, like the body of it and give it some more texture so it looks more like a rough kind of gnarly stem thing and blend it in so it looks kind of just like a old stem. And then we're going to just make some little indents all the way down. Just blend that in a bit better there. Just You can make as many, as few, as deep uh, ridges as you, as you want, whatever you want. You don't even have to carry them on all the way to the bottom if you don't want. Just whatever you want to do, just as simple as you want to make it or as complicated. It's up to you. It's just whatever you find more relaxing. If you want to make it the simplest thing, just to play around, just to have a go. This is air dry clay, so this clay is about four pound, I think, for a pack or three pounds something. Um, so you can do quite a lot with one pack. You don't need much at a time to start playing around. Like you saw, just that little chunk I. I took out can make a pumpkin or you can make two little pumpkins you can make a skull out of it you can make anything anything that takes your fancy and with it being air dry you don't need to put it in the oven you don't need to bake it any any kind of way you don't have to do anything at all with it you just leave it and it'll just dry on its own what I find the best to do is once the top starts to dry it'll go lighter colour see this is greyer than this um, the bits that are drying quicker will be whiter so you tend to want to move it around because the bottom will um, still be kind of wetter than the bits that are more exposed to the air so you just want to move it around so it evenly dries don't put it on a radiator or like try and speed up the um, drying process else it'll crack and it'll look horrible unless you want that effect it might might look good on a pumpkin it might go a bit like crackly and nice but Generally, it kind of ruins whatever you've done, so you kind of just want to make some marks, some deeper than others, just to give it some texture, just um, smooth out whatever you don't want with your fingers. You don't need to do anything overly complicated, just make some little marks, and there you go. So that's kind of textured, um, where it's like got a natural crack. I'm gonna make that into like a like a little bump where it's had a or where it's like grown a bit funny, just make it a little like I've just made a kind of a star shape where it's like grown a bit funny, you know where you get those like brown speckly bits on on um pumpkins and you get them on um melons sometimes. So I've really textured this one and uh that should be dry enough if I move it around tomorrow for me to paint it if I wanted to. I'm just going to make a couple more of those like little marks. I think my husband's playing guitar downstairs if you can hear something. And the chinchillas are mardy now because I've made them go in. Because I was trying to film this and I was trying to do anything and I had to watch them every few seconds because they were so naughty. They're in one of their really naughty moods where they chew everything and they're just terrors. You can also, if you wanted to, um, make it into like a jack-o'-lantern or like a carved pumpkin by just making some kind of marks in it before um, anything else, like a little eye here and there and then obviously along there for the mouth or whatever. And then you can paint that in, paint it with some detail. I've just roughly done a little thing to show you. You could do that you really wanted to whatever you want to do and then when it's dry like this we're going to paint it and it should end up looking something like this I bought the paint ready mixed up 
I got this one from Hobbycraft because I couldn't be asked mixing it up to be honest. I didn't want to mess around getting the wrong shade and whatever. This one's called Flame. It's 75 mils. It's um acrylic paint. It's by Hobbycraft themselves. Um it was with the other acrylic paints. So I just got that one and then I've gone over the top with some different colours. So um where's my thing? I <laughs> I'm using this as a palette. It had some mealworms in. <sighs> I don't bother with a proper palette. I use whatever's you know there. You don't need to be fancy, just use whatever's on hand. Um use whatever brush you've got on hand and um we're just going to paint it with that orange colour to start with. You can paint it black, you can paint it white, you can paint it whatever colour you want. We're just going to, I'm just going to do this one orange. I'm just going to go over it with the orange. Um, obviously with one coat it's quite nice, it's quite a light orange. This has had a couple of coats and some other ones on top. Um, but I think it's more of the pumpkin colour, just the light coat. Um, so I'm just going to give it a light coat. I'm just going to get it into all... Yeah, make sure you get it in all the cracks because you don't want any like weird white bits showing through after you've gone to the trouble of you know, painting it and stuff. You don't want any weird bits. So... We're just going to quickly paint it with the orange. As you see, half of it's done now. It doesn't take any time at all. Just make sure you get it all around that bit of the top. But don't paint that top bit orange unless you want it orange. Um, they tend to be more of a browny, beigey colour. Some of them have got a little bit of green on, but it, I think it depends on the variety of pumpkin. So... Let's get in there. You can use this obviously for a doll's house or whatever or just as part of your little Halloween displays. Um, obviously if you're a pagan or a Wiccan and you have an altar, you can put it on your little altar as a, a little sewing decoration. Um, I haven't had my altar up this year. I can't find my box of Halloween decorations either. So, I've just given up for this year. I've just got a few little bits that I've bought around this time this year. Like that that thing up there. But other than that, I've not really got anything around the house. I've got a few spiders and candles and things, but that's about it. And I've bought loads of sweets for the kids for trick-or-treating. And then I thought, they may not come trick-or-treating this year. And none of them I can eat because it's all chocolate or um, I think the lollies may have gelatin in. So I can't eat them but my fiancé has been pinching them and pinching them. And getting in trouble for pinching the children's sweets. So when you go darker it looks a bit bit more um well a bit less of the natural pumpkin colour I think even if you haven't got any paints you could probably mix up turmeric and it may stain it that orangey yellow that might just be enough of the right colour if you wanted to do it more naturally or if you had some white paint and turmeric and mix it up be a yellowy orangey colour might be more yellow than orange but um you could even add a bit of paprika and because it's red and the yellow it might make, make a nice orange if you really wanted to be more natural because acrylic paints obviously aren't natural um, there we go um, now I'm going to mix up uh, a couple of these things um, the acrylic inks um, unfortunately I used four of them so unless you have the, you don't need to do this at all if you had a yellow paint that's fine too I just mix these up to 
um, get more like this one's like a speckly one I like to get more of the yellowy as well as the orangey colors I just wanted a bit more um, of a range of colors and of course it's gone a bit glittery which anything glittery I'm sold we'll have the glitter so I'm using um, this red one it's it's the scarlet one number five six seven it's the Dalla Rowney, um acrylic ink um, and we only want a tiny little bit of that uh, and the uh, lemon yellow number six five one Dalla Rowney acrylic ink they all come with these little droppers in um, I just want a couple of drops of that Actually, maybe three drops, not two. Make it a bit more yellowy. Um, and I also mixed in a tiny bit of this gold. Uh, this one is Mazuma Gold. Um, it doesn't say what number, does it? 117. Just a little smidge of that because it's kind of an orangey gold. Orangey, yellowy gold. And a tiny bit of this copper one to get some brown tones in. This one is this Birdwing Copper number 111. Uh, just a couple of drops of that. See what colour that gives us. Um, that's a very ready orange, kind of like the orange that we already used. Um, this is the orange that I've just mixed. It's a lot runnier than the orange paint that we just used, but as you can see, it's kind of the same colour. So I'm going to add a little bit more yellow, the bright yellow. I've added three more drops, and let's see what that is. It's a better orange, but still very similar. So I'm going to add a couple more drops of that and a couple of the gold, just to... I've added three more yellow. I'm going to add two gold. Two gold and I'm going to add one copper. It's kind of a big drop of the copper then. Let's see what we've got now. That's a better. Still very similar but as you can see it's a little bit lighter. It's like a yellowy colour so we're just going to like lightly brush that on. Dab some of it off because it's very runny. And you probably can't see the difference there at the moment. Do it around the top. You can just see it's got some yellowy tones in. It's not too much, but it's enough to give it a bit more depth. Like a bit more um, of a range of colours. I've just <laughs> soaked it on that side then. Um, oh, God. It's going to be everywhere now. And it's giving it a bit of a shimmer, which gives it a bit more of a something just drag it across those bits um, obviously you don't need to do this step at all it's only because I have them here I wanted to add a bit more um, depth of colour just some yellowy tones in as well just to yeah, so it's not just a flat orange colour um, Obviously you could brush some brown in there, or some red if you want some redder colours. Um, um, it's a bit sparkly, you can't really see that well. Um, what I did for the little stalk part, um, you can use just a brown if you want. Um, um, this one has um, some like real clear differences in colour so you could flick some green on there if you wanted but the stalk you can see is brown there and then green so it, it's up to you what kind of colour you'd, you'd prefer obviously the bigger pumpkins um, have the darker one that's just kind of a beigey orangey brown um, so it's up to you which kind of colour you'd prefer um, so for this one I just did it very like subtly I left kind of the beigey colour of the clay 
but I had these um, metallic watercolours so I just brushed them on a little bit that's uh, I'm just using the same size brush for all of it you don't need a lot to do it just use whatever you've got on hand I just used um, which ones was it it was the greeny colour so these two here this one and this one yeah Chris is playing with his new amp he's wanted this amp it's his dream amp he's wanted it for so long and he's finally taken the plunge and got it on finance um, and he's enjoying his little self Um, yeah, I think I just used those and I may have used a smidge of this coppery colour because it didn't look as green as this one, but I might just, that's better, yeah, give that one a bit more of a greeny colour. Um, this one's just, I'll just dab it into those cracks, well, you know, the textured part. Don't worry, like I've just smeared it on there, the green bit, onto there. Don't worry about that. Just swirl your brush off, dip it back in the orange and top it up. It doesn't matter, honestly, you, they're so easy to make. It doesn't matter if you wreck it, it doesn't matter if you cock it up, you can soon fix it. Fixed, fine. It takes two seconds, it's fine, don't worry about it. And then just leave them to dry. So... It's two little pumpkins. This one's obviously a darker orange. I obviously didn't make that one yellowy enough, but it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, and the skulls. Now, I bought these skulls, like this one, and they're tacky as hell. But there was four of them in there, and I got them because I thought I might Halloween up the tarantulas' houses. But um, I don't like them. They're tacky. So... I thought we could maybe make one into something more like this. We could use Scraffito and do this kind of effect. But um, if you're going to get these, these, I think they were a bag of skulls, the most random thing from um, Morrison's. Um, and they, uh, I think they're about £3. I'm not sure. Um, my memory's horrendous. Uh, but they're, they're sharp, so um, just get a nail file and file down the sharp bits. Um, especially if you're doing it with kids, just file off the sharp bits. Um, I couldn't find any sandpaper. We bought some the other day. Of course I can't find it now. You can never find anything in this house. So I just use a nail file um, to get the rough bits off. So then I painted this one with this colour. You can paint it with just acrylic paint, whatever colour you want, just white, black, whatever. Um, I use this one. This one is pearlescent liquid acrylic. This one is, I don't think this one's Dalarani. Oh, it is Dalarani. It's called Dutch Blue 127. And it's a really pretty colour. I thought, I haven't used it that much, so I'm just going to use it, see if it works. Because it was kind of like the colour of the candle. Um, I, I didn't paint that, but just to show you guys what the colour was. And then I used this craft paint, um, it's a pound from the works. It's more like poster paint as opposed to acrylic paint. So if you paint whatever it is with a more acrylic paint and then cover it with like a poster paint, it's easier to scratch through. That's the idea. And I just used a skewer um, to scratch the circles in the eyes to start with. Um, just so I could see if I needed to add another layer of paint or if it was coming through okay and it's coming through okay you don't need to paint it even if you're happy with just like the colour of the school being like this colour don't bother just use it as is just paint it over um, you can use acrylic paint because it scrapes off easy but poster paint's supposed to be easier I don't know why I don't know if it really is but just go around whatever details you want to bring out. Like I'm just going to go around the teeth. Um, and it just starts to bring them out a tad around the, the edges. And then obviously if you want to make it into like a sugar skull kind of thing. I've started with the eyes inside. Um, and this one's got like um, things coming out of the eyes. So you could just um, use a scraper and start bringing those out.
maybe a white or a silver would have been a bit brighter because you can't fully see you can't really fully see that shine um, from that blue underneath it's just sort of rough but you get the idea you roughly start to just scratch away and it brings out the stuff underneath it sounds horrible because you're going to scrape it off plastic but you don't want anything too sharp or it'll just scratch through all your layers of paint and then you might as well have just not bother painting it at all um, but if there's like a colour that you wanted to come through obviously you don't have to do this this way this is just one way um, so you can you can just see it starting to get a bit of detail in there um, obviously you can paint it whatever colours So that's that way and then this way I just painted this in just entirely black and um, I thought I could paint this like a sugar skull um, so you could either do the petal kind of look around the eyes or like the hearts obviously I'm going to choose hearts because that's my favourite shape um, <laughs> I love heart shaped things I'm a sucker for anything heart shaped so you can just use basic acrylics we're just going to smidge a bit of white on there um, you probably need a thinner brush for like your details um, these are crap brushes that I think I got about six of them for a couple of quid on eBay they're all the same size unfortunately but it's good for that kind of size if you use it for detail Uh, let's get that brush out of the water before that's wrecked because I tend to forget these things so we're just going to get a little bit of paint on there not too much and then just I'm just going to freehand it because I am not very delicate I can't be bothered with um, doing stuff like drawing it on with pencil first because it's so easy to just correct if you cock it up there's no point being so delicate might as well just smidge it on there see what happens and then it, obviously you can add some more colours obviously this is just thin layers and then you, you can build up the white with a couple of other layers but just start off um, I do an upside down one in the nose paint pens are really beautiful to work with as well we have got some somewhere I can't find them you might know so <laughs> I would have shown you with the paint pens because they are lovely to work with and you could get a really crisp line but I'm just having to try and freehand it with a brush instead Uh, do kind of an upside down heart don't they in the nose I did a paranormal video earlier about my paranormal experiences so I would love to hear yours especially if you have um, like more paranormal experiences around um, I nearly said Easter Oh, I'm in pain and I'm tired, I think. So, um, I would love to know if you have more paranormal experiences around Halloween. I keep hearing, like, voices in the other room, like somebody talking. Sometimes I'll hear Chrissy talking to me, and then I'll check my phone to see if it's, like, decided to ring him, and there's there's nothing there, nobody's on the phone it's just, I don't know what see that's kind of smidged down a bit, oh there we go let's fix that can't really tell so far because um, it's great but once I th like do a couple of layers with the white you'll be able to see that a bit better um, I'm just going to do another heart in that eye socket there. Um, 
Um, I would love to know if you guys do any kind of crafts for um, Halloween or even Christmas and stuff. If, if there's something like you do every year or something, I would love to know. Um, I haven't done any art kind of things for a while, for a few years now really properly because my dad was ill and we were looking after him and I, I had to look after him more and more, spend more time looking after him and then obviously he died and then I haven't had time really with sorting out everything here, I haven't had time to do anything so... Obviously this is a bit more fiddly if you're just freehanding it with a brush. Um, but it depends what kind of a thing you want to do, that's just a rough thing to start with. Um, I don't really know what shapes... What's that got on it? You see I should have used acrylic paint because the... Uh, if you use a poster paint for this it starts to come off on your fingers. Um, so I would go over it with acrylic paint before you start painting it. Um, I don't know whether to bring down that, yeah I'm going to bring that nose down a bit. tell where the nose goes on this because it's like dipped in so you can't really tell exactly where you should be following um, so I've brought it out a bit but it's um, no I probably shouldn't have bothered I probably should have just left it but see the beauty of this is it doesn't really matter you just paint over and start again um, I'm going to do the, if you do the petal kind of thing around the eyes, it's kind of, you're going to have to do like that circle around the eye socket, which could end up looking awful because uh, obviously you're freehanding it. Or it could look kind of rustic and like some of them do where they're roughly painted and it could look really good. I suppose it just depends how uh, what's the word I'm for? I guess how bothered you are about how neat it is. Obviously I'm only just painting with white to start with, but I would add colours in and stuff. It's just to, just to give you a rough idea of um what you can do with stuff um, I was hoping that would make a dot there but it's not um, so you just start outlining the eyes and things obviously they need quite a few coats really I think to get like a decent enough white line. Um, what else is on there? Um, just like a little heart there. Nope, we'll rub that off and start again because it's sort of smudged. 
it's hard to do the fiddlier bits unless you've got like a tiny brush so I wouldn't bother with the really fiddly detail unless you've got something that you can just sort of like dab it on with um, like a cotton bud would be perfect see it's took me ages to do just a tiny little heart and um, uh, yeah a cotton bud would be really good I might just dip the end of this brush in this orange and just have a little play, ah uh, yeah that's better like just dot with something um, and you could do that thing around the eyes like the petal thing, I don't know what any of these things are properly called as you can tell but I always think the eye thing looks like petals so you can just dot round instead of painting them it's a lot easier and of course you could always dot round the whole thing just in coloured dots um, I've seen something like that that people were doing a while ago it's kind of like that um, Aboriginal thing where they cover everything with the dots um, so yeah that gives you kind of an idea of where to start um, just um, dabbing different colours on I've only got the orange that I've mixed up and a white and a black so I'm just just uh, just going just going with it I guess um, just start like bringing them down and things and you can make it look really cute yeah just so it just gives you a bit of an idea of something you can play with um, so they, I'm, I'm sure even the most, you know, inexperienced person can dot something. So I'm hoping there's something that you can do, even if you have no clue what to do with any of these things. You can just dot something. You can even just do a little painting, start dotting things. Um, you can make a little pumpkin now. I'm sure you can make this too. I'm sure you can. Just make a little pumpkin. Um the easiest ways to paint it you know even just probably as they are they're probably all right um you know this is the one that we painted just um yeah or you could do the scraffito thing where you start to scratch away just a a faint thing like that where you start to scratch away so yeah i'm hoping there's something that you can do even if you you know you're a complete complete beginner I'm sure there's something you can do. Um, so I hope there's something there that keeps you entertained. Um, yeah, so please share with me what you do. I would love to see them, love to. Um, and I would love to know what kind of crafts and stuff you do um, for holidays, whatever holiday it is. Um, yeah, I would love to see them. So come and join us on Facebook and show me. Come and show me. Um, yeah, so I hope hope there's something you can do um, please like share subscribe come and join us on Facebook come and share all of your creations with me on Facebook I would love to see them and I hope to see you soon bye